Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for spending time with me. Uh, I hope I make it memorable, like I try all this time. Right, first things first, uh, set some wine. We're going to be cooking. Makes it better, right? Cheers. Uh, next thing, what am I going to make today? I'm going to make a whole snuffer on the chocolate grill. Intimidating, could be, yeah, skin is going to stick on, can't flip it right, you can do blah, 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 blah. Just cook it, all right? Follow a couple of simple guidelines and you will have a heck of a dish. It's going to look beautiful, it's going to taste beautiful. Uh, we're going to stuff the cavity with some fresh dill from my fresh garden. I do have a garden uh, with some herbs and dill and fennel and stuff like that. But anyway, I'll show you that on another one. But anyway, a whole fish on a charcoal grill, it's a crowd pleaser. If you take it out, I just put it right in front of a couple of guests. Oh my goodness, that's a brand. That looks good. All right, stay with me on this one. Whole fish on a charcoal grill. And some wine. All right, folks, there's my fish. Clean, clear eyes. Beautiful red gills. That's how you look at your freshness. Inside cavity. That's how you look at your freshness. Uh, this is a fresh fish. It's good. I love it. It's wild caught. Now, you want to take this guy out. Take it out. Uh, if you notice, the dots, the fins at the top have been taken off. I asked the butcher to do that. Flip it around, take off the cheek ones. The bottom one, you don't need that. You can leave them on if you want to. I will leave that one on. I will take that little side winder. I call it a side winder. Get that out. You can leave that on if you want to. You can take it off. I will take it off just for the heck of it. Cut them through. There we go. Now, hope you can see that. So, beautiful fish, clean, gutted, head on, tail on, cut the fins at the top off, chick fins, the side winders off. All right? All right, so grab a sharp knife. We're going to do three slits. One, two, three. That's it. Flip it around, do the same. Come back when we do that. Alright, here is what we're gonna do with this guy. We're gonna salt the cavity. Make sure it's nice and dry. Alright, and some pepper. Alright, I'll clean that after. Alright, next thing. Fresh dill. We're gonna stuff the cavity with fresh dill. And we're gonna get some smashed garlic. Let me smash those garlics real quick. Sorry, I had to walk away and get my smasher. I wasn't ready. Smash those guys. Smash those guys. Nah, that's not. Just wanted to release some of the flavor. Put that guy in there. Put that guy in there. And that's it for our cavity. The top hurt. We're going to brush some olive oil. Before we salt and pepper it, so just gonna brush some olive oil on there. This will also help in making sure the fish doesn't stick on the grill. But here's what you need to do so the fish doesn't stick on the grill high heat, clean grill gates. Make sure your grates are very, very, very clean. High heat, oil them. Do not disturb the fish when you put it in. Okay? So, there we go. I'm gonna flip the other side, do the same thing on the other side. All right, so my charcoal is going, it's been hot. Lay the fish on there. So here's the trick. Do not disturb this for at least five minutes. Make sure charcoal is hot, grill is clean, fish is nicely oiled and stuffed. Do not bother this. If you bother it, then you mess the skin. I would leave it there for at least five minutes. If it's ready, the skin will come through. All right. 
with my trusted assistant holding the camera five minutes later this should just flip through boom oh that's your grilled fish look at that that's beautiful give it another five minutes on one side and we're good all right folks that grilled snapper is done yes it is Drop that up, platter, and there is the grilled snapper, folks. Enjoy this. Oh, it's gonna be good. Don't forget subscribe to my page for more scrumptious meals.